Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this lecture we are going to see about the cloud computing management in details along with their benefits. So without further ado let's get into it. In the previous lectures we have seen all about the deployment process and the service models of cloud computing. Now let's discuss some advanced topics related to cloud computing. So let's get started with the cloud computing management system. So it is the responsibility of cloud provider to manage the cloud resources and their performance so management of resources includes several aspect of cloud computing which i have given here so it includes the load balancing performance storage backups capacity as well as the deployment so the management is essential to access full functionality of resources which are present in the cloud so let's get started with the cloud management task so the cloud provider performs a number of tasks to ensure the efficient use of cloud resources so here i have given all the tasks performed by the cloud provider so we will go through them one by one the first one is audit system backups so it is required to audit the backups timely to ensure restoring of randomly selected files from a different users so backup can be performed in two major ways so the first one is backing up files by the company from on-site computers to the disk that resides within the cloud and the next one is backing up files by the cloud provider so it is necessary to know if the cloud provider has encrypted the data who has access to that data and if the backup is taken at different locations then the user must know the details of those locations so it is very essential the next task is data flow of the system so the managers are responsible to develop a diagram which describes a detailed process flow so this process flow describes the movement of data belonging to an organization throughout the cloud solutions the next task is vendor lock in awareness and solutions so the managers must know the procedure to exit from the services of particular cloud provider so the procedures must be defined to enable the cloud managers for exporting the data of an organization from this system to another cloud provider the next task is knowing provider's security procedure so the managers should also know the security plans for providing some services such as multi tenant use e commerce processing employee screening and the encryption policy so this is also very vital task which should be performed by the cloud provider the next one is monitoring the capacity planning and the scaling capabilities so the managers must know the capacity planning in order to ensure whether the cloud provider is meeting the future capacity requirements for his business or not and you have to act according to that the managers must manage the scaling capabilities in order to ensure the services can be scaled up or scaled down as per the requirement of user the next task is monitor audit log use so in order to identify errors in the system the managers must audit the logs on regular basis to know if there are something wrong within the system and the last task is solution testing and validation so when the cloud provider offers a solution it is essentially to test it in order to ensure that it gives the correct result as required by the cloud user and it should be the error free so this is necessary for system to be robust and reliable so at last we will see why this cloud management is very important by discussing its major benefits so here i have given the four major benefits of cloud management the first one is quick delivery time So nowadays customers are in need of rapid delivery which provides with the help of proper management so the customer will choose the service only if it is quick and easy to use so the cloud computing provides instant delivery so that the customers are satisfied and this is done with the help of proper management the next benefit is flexibility so the customer demands various facilities and want cpu memory as well as the disk space or network configuration 
So this facility should be customer friendly and should provide maximum flexibility to the customer. So the customer can modify what they need to self service provisioning and eliminates the costly hardware. So the cloud management also provides flexibility so that the customer has to pay only for what they have used. The next benefit is security. So for complete management, there should be a proper security. Otherwise, the management is incomplete. So therefore, cloud companies provides proper security, firewall and the confidentiality. So this makes all the files, programs and other data secure on the site. So if the customer is remotely accessing the data, there is a chance of some cyber crime. So the companies are also taking actions regarding this. And our last benefit is economical. So with the help of problem management, cloud providers try to keep the price as low as possible. So as the cloud computing is for small scale as well as the large scale organizations, so the price is low to implement the cloud based servers. So these are some major benefits of cloud management. So in this lecture, we have seen what is a cloud computing management and why it is very important. We have also seen the different tasks performed by the cloud providers to ensure the efficient working of the cloud service as well as at the last we have seen some major benefits of cloud computing management. So I hope you like this lecture. So please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to follow us on our social media that I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.